Let me begin this message by saying, I love dogs. I'm a dog lover and dogs love me because they know I love them. When I was a kid, I had an Alaskan Malamute. That dog was incredible. And that dog's girlfriend was a German Shepherd and you can't make this up, her master owned the best gas station in town and it was next to the Old South Barbecue. My dog ate better than me growing up. His name was Raja, and that dog could howl, man. I mean, he would dig a trench. An Alaskan dog living in South Florida, he was miserable, he was so hot. I didn't, wasn't my fault, but he, but he would howl. Ow! Ow! And he would constantly howl. He didn't bark much, but he howled. I love dogs. And then as an adult, I had my last dog. I've not replaced him yet because I was so attached to him. His name was Baxter. He was a yellow lab and he was about this high. And Baxter was gorgeous, man. My neighbor in New Orleans, I didn't know him too well, but I was acquainted with him, was Brad Pitt. He lived right down the street. My dog attracted more women than Brad Pitt. I'd be walking that dog and people wouldn't say a thing about me. Oh, how beautiful your dog is. You got the prettiest dog in town. Yeah, my dog was Brad Pitt. Anyway, uh, his name was Baxter. Had him for 12 years. Dog was absolutely gorgeous, nice, never snapped at anybody. Boy, he was a scaredy cat. The minute it would rain, he would start drooling. He would hide and shake and start drooling. So I said all that to say this, I love dogs. So don't think I'm coming against dogs. Now, my text, I had to give you that. Second Peter chapter two, Verse 22, it happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is returned to his vomit again and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. And he's talking about people who once knew God, who once knew Christ, who once knew the Bible, who once knew the Holy Ghost, but they decide to throw that away. And they decide to walk away and backslide into sin. And they run away from God. And it's like it says, the dog, because how many of y'all that love dogs know, sometimes dogs do things that are not exactly clean. They sniff each other, they lick each other, they eat, you know what, off the ground. You ever seen a dog do that? When a dog throws up, it will eat it. I'm not making this up, that's what the Bible says. The dog returns to his vomit. Now, we're in New York City on a beautiful day. Well, it's not that beautiful. It was, you know, I, I like to be positive. I like to see, I'm a glass half full person. Y'all think I'm a glass half empty person? I'm not. I know war is going on. I know horrible things are happening in this world, but I also know Jesus is coming. I'm a glass half full person. But on a day like this, there's people walking their dog. There's people walking their little dog, walking their big dog. Usually it's the dog walking them and not them walking the dog, but you know, let me get very serious here for a moment. Let me get to my point. A lot of people will walk their dog. Listen to me. But they won't walk with their God. Oh, 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 there, there stop, rewind. Doop, play it again, go back. You'll walk your dog, but you won't walk with your God. The Bible said Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him. A lot of people, and you know I'm a dog lover, a lot of people, their dog becomes their idol. Because they spend more time with their dog or their pet than they do with their God. They spend more money on their pet than they do the homeless, the poor. So I call them, I'm coining a new term. You heard me talk about the idol phone. Well, what about the idol dog? Look, I love dogs. But if your dog is more important to you than your God, you have an idol problem. Now I'm gonna close with this. The word dog, D-O-G. The word dog, D-O-G, is God spelled backward. Now that's not that little animal's fault. I love dogs. But, I don't mean to be sobering here, but you know there's not one positive use in the Word of God about a dog? A dog in the Bible symbolizes a Gentile without God, cut off from the covenant of God. A dog in the Bible symbolizes the worst of sinners. I'm not going to go into explicit detail, 
I'll let you look it up and read between the lines. We need to focus not on our pets and our dogs, but on our God. Because people, as I close, it comes down to four things. Purposes, priorities, pursuits, and passions. I call it the four Ps. And God should be number one. If Jesus is number two on your list, or three, or four, listen, you're going to die and go to hell. Bottom line, I said it. Unfollow me, block me, do all you want to do. But if Jesus Christ is not number one in your life, above all else, above money, above career, above cash, above profession, above your husband, your wife, your kids, if Jesus is not number one, you're going to die and go to hell. There's not... I can count one, two, three, four of the preachers in America that will tell you that right now. But I love you enough. Paul said, speak the truth in love. And from New York today, I'm just telling you this because I love you and I love dogs. And if anybody watches this video and posts that Mike Nile is preaching against dogs, you are a liar because I love dogs. Dogs, and I love you. God bless you. And remember, Jesus is still your answer. Amen.